I, I've done jury witness protection. You know, you live with the jurors, you know, day in, day out, 24 seven, you become part of the family, they get to know you. So <laughs> you do, you do end up influencing uh, the way a jury thinks. And, and there was a lot of theatre being played out in this case, you know, they were being brought by armed police into, um, into the court. Um, you know, there was all sorts of antics went on, you, you know, there was a lot of stuff in the in the papers, um, you know, larging up uh, Mickey Steele was, you know, the, the angel of death, I think was one of the papers, there was this big portrayal of Steele and Wombs as these gangsters. The reality is, you know, we've spoken to them, um, that, you know, Jack Wombs is a car mechanic, you know, his life is mending cars. He's not, he's not a trained assassin, you know, who, who, you know, he's not someone you would automatically think is going to shoot three men dead in a professional hit, you know, it doesn't, he doesn't fit the bill at all. You know, this is a man who was a car mechanic who allegedly killed three people in cold blood with no motive who then goes to prison and becomes a model prisoner. It just doesn't fit. It's not right. It's, it, it's absolutely not right. And Michael Steele, Michael Steele's a villain. He, there's no doubt about it. He's a villain. He, 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 you know, he was a drugs importer by his own admission. You know, he, he, he was involved in that trade. His big mistake and both Wombs and Steele's big mistake was the evidence against them for the drugs offences was very, very strong. But by, uh, by going not guilty uh, to those offences. The jury probably sat there and thought, if they did that, the evidence is very strong. They probably, they're probably lying about the murders as well. So I think, I don't think that played well. And perhaps, you know, they, they didn't take the best decisions and the defence team didn't give them the best advice around the, uh, the drugs offences.